Hello, Jim Steska here, coming to you from Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I'm going to uh, talk about my recipe of the week. Uh, this week's recipe is halibut with lemon basil caper sauce. Actually, very delicious, uh, easy to make meal. Okay, if you like seafood or fish, this happens to be a very uh, mild fish. Um, uh, it's actually one of the most nutritious fish that you could eat okay uh, it's very high in protein low in fat and uh, very uh, very good for you okay uh, what I buy is frozen frozen halibut this is a wild Alaskan halibut that I get at Walmart okay it's in a package like this it's in the uh, frozen where the fish shrimp salmon and all that are in the in, in Walmart Okay, and it comes in little packages uh, like this. There's either two or three of these these uh, flash frozen uh, packages of halibut uh, to a pack. Okay, I try to I actually sort through them uh, typically to find three in one pack so I can get three meals out of it. And I know they're divided into about three four ounce portions, which is the right portion size. Okay. Sometimes if there's not three, there'll be two in a pack. Uh, usually one, uh, it's not. Usually one might be seven ounces, the other be five ounces, or, or that type of thing. They do vary in size, but, uh, uh, but that's uh, now that's about fifteen dollars for uh, that pack of a uh, salmon. I used to get it at Wegmans. Wegmans actually charges twenty dollars for a, like a similar similar pack. So, uh, so to save a little bit of money, uh, it's fifteen dollars for. Uh, 12 ounces of, of halibut. Halibut is a pretty expensive fish, so if you try to buy it fresh too, it's, it's very expensive. So um, it comes all the way from Alaska, so I guess uh, I guess is a higher charge, and they're not as uh, plentiful. So, uh, but anyway, it's it's worth it to me to buy that this healthy fish. Uh, very very good uh, for you. Okay. Uh, so how I make it is I, I start the sauce first. Okay, and I melt uh, a, a tablespoon of butter uh, in a pan. Okay, uh, now you could use uns unsalted butter. I happen to use for this particular recipe salted butter, uh, but I uh, my my family prefers salted butter over unsalted. I don't eat a whole lot of butter, so it doesn't you know it doesn't matter to me. Uh, but if it, if I had my preference, I would buy unsalted butter. So uh, so it's up to you uh, just to lower the sodium content a little bit. Okay, um, and then what I do, I'll, I'll, I put a, uh, a teaspoon of olive oil, just a teaspoon of olive oil, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, and get that going. Bring it to a little bit of a of a boil. Uh, then put some uh, spices in it. Uh, basil. I, I put about a, a quarter cup of basil, fresh basil. Uh, took about a sprig, if you will, of basil. Cut it all up, and that equals about a quarter cup. Same thing with parsley. Took uh, a little bit of parsley, uh, about again uh, maybe a, a quarter cup. Uh, I put an ounce on the recipe. It's about a quarter cup of parsley. Cut all that up, and uh, and put that in there. Uh, put some black pepper in there. Sprinkle some black, uh, fresh black pepper, uh, in there as well. Okay, and then capers. Uh, put about a tablespoon of capers. In there now, some people don't like capers. I love the taste of capers with seafood or with fish, and uh, that's actually one of my favorite. Uh, you can do capers with meat too, but I prefer it with fish. And uh, they come in a little jar, a little, a little, little about that high and about that round of a jar, uh, that tall, and uh, they're very small uh, bead-like, uh, bead-like food. So. Uh, and they put a, put a lot of flavor into into things. Uh, some people don't like them. You can omit capers from this recipe if you uh, if you prefer. Okay. Um, so you get the sauce going, and you put the halibut in the middle of the plate. Uh, I have a picture there of uh, if it cooking. I have the sauce kind of on the side uh, uh, heating up, and the, the halibut in the middle of the plate. Uh, and I sear, pan sear the halibut. Okay, just uh, flipping it over uh, a few times until it's cooked all the way through. I'll even. Uh, Put a lid on top of it, over top of it, to uh, seal in the moisture and, and make sure it's cooked all the way through uh, without burning. Okay, and keeping it on very on low heat after it sears for a little bit. So, um, and then what you do is uh, you, when the halibut's done, you take it and put it on a plate. Uh, pour the sauce on top. 
uh, along with uh, now I do have a picture uh, along with this video if you're watching this on YouTube I'll have a link to the uh, to my post on uh, on my blog uh, uh, but the picture with the video is the dish that I actually ate with this uh, with this meal uh, I've got uh, Brussels sprouts and carrots along with uh, some uh, brown uh, basmati rice okay very delicious nutritious meal uh, equals about that that meal is about 600 calories and uh, and it was an excellent uh, highly delicious and nutritious uh, meal there uh, now the halibut itself the halibut dish itself is about 258 calories I believe it was um, it did get a degrading uh, when I put it on my site on the site uh, uh, cal calorie uh, about dot com uh, calorie count dot about dot com sorry um, uh, it gave a D because of the uh, fat and sodium content okay uh, but that's okay your body needs fat uh, needs to consume fat it's the right kind of fat in the olive oil uh, butter also is uh, the right kind of fat for your body as well because butter is a natural product okay it's not a processed let's say product like margarine margarine is very bad for you you should stay away from it at all costs and any of these imitation butters out there stay away from them okay uh, but real butter uh, real butter if you are going to eat uh, anything like that real butter is uh, actually better than all of those okay but you, you, know, you don't want to eat too much of it uh, too much fat is not good for you but just a, a tablespoon I put a tablespoon of butter in this dish uh, it, it's fine perfectly fine okay um, and I could have got a little bit away with a little bit less too. I could have did a half a tablespoon if I if I wanted to. It would have been the same, but uh, but I put a tablespoon. So um, so that's my recipe of the week. Uh, let me know uh, if you make this dish and, and how much you uh, enjoy it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and may God bless you with uh, excellent health, and have a great day.